Lesson 3-5, Intervals of Increase and Decrease. You can describe a relationship by looking at intervals, which are just segments, on a graph. And we always read these from left to right. So if it's increasing from left to right, it's going up to the right, like a positive slope. If it's decreasing from left to right, it's going down to the right, like a negative slope. You could also have, if it were level going from left to right, staying at the same place, which has a zero slope, and we call that constant. In which intervals is the function increasing, decreasing, or constant? Notice that it gives you a graph, but it gives you no numbers. There's not any measurements here other than telling you the y-axis is the distance in miles and the time is um, the x-axis the is time in hours. So it's just wanting you to identify where the function is increasing, where it's decreasing, and where it's constant from left to right. Now sometimes you're given labels for these. In this one we are. We have the first segment or first interval the second interval, we have this third interval, we have a fourth interval, and we have a fifth interval. And these intervals are just segments of the graph. And so we're gonna identify where it's increasing. Increasing means it's going up. So let's look at this. And I notice that this first segment's going up to the right. And the third segment is going up to the right. So 1 and 3 are increasing. I might even notice that they have positive slopes. And then I have this segment 2 and segment 4. They're level. They're not going up and they're not going down. So two and four are constant. Notice that they're not going up or down. They have zero slopes. And then last, we have one segment that when we read from left to right, it's going down to the right, segment five. Segment five, is decreasing. Notice that it has a negative slope. And that's all we're doing on these types of problems is identifying whether they're increasing, decreasing, or constant. You could have questions ask if they're linear or nonlinear segments. These were all linear, they made straight lines, but if you had curves, those would be nonlinear. And it could actually give you some values for the x and y axis that you would have to look at the x values of.